I don't think there's many people that genuinely go to bed every night and when they check on their children, I walk up the stairs and I check on them and I say, please be alive. Sienna had a cardiac arrest when she was 14 months old. We went to the park with friends and she was playing, she was singing, she had an ice cream and she'd just become very, very unwell very quickly. All the colour had drained from her face and she was grey almost. She was literally gasping for breath. We find an ambulance um, and my friend performed CPR on her. I was on my knees begging her, please don't let her die, please save her. And for her to have found the strength and the courage to have almost blocked me out to deliver effective CPR and save her life is absolutely incredible. Her heart rate was actually beating at 315 beats per minute at the time when she arrived in hospital. She's had to have an internal defibrillator fitted, but they've had to put hers in her tummy because she's so small. With Brigada syndrome, you can't prevent it. It's a genetic cause. Now I was found to be positive for the gene mutation. Therefore, Theo had to be tested and he tested positive. Um, my dad has also tested positive and has my auntie. It does actually indicate that my nan passed away of Brigada syndrome. So as their mum, I carry a lot of guilt as well. Um, I had my children not even knowing that I had this condition, but for them to growing up, if they choose to have children, they've got you know huge decisions to think about, knowing that they could pass a very serious condition onto them. Tomorrow isn't promised and you have to live each day. We're determined to see the world and not live through fear of Brigada syndrome and keep pushing forward for hope that in the future there, there will be a cure. It's something that you don't ever think is gonna to happen to you. It's something that you watch on telly and you go, that's really, really sad. But then you kind of almost forget about it. But for us, that we can't forget. Trying to piece together your life when it's been utterly shattered is so, so difficult. And it's things like the work of the, the British Heart Foundation that is crucial to us in our family to give us hope for the future. <laughs>